Hi, I'm Chris, and welcome to the Free Wall. Some of the best graph work here in Dayton is, is found on this wall behind me. This wall is constantly changing and becoming something different. It's not one person that works on it, but it's teams from all over Dayton and all over the Midwest. The wall is a result of a combination of time and talent coming together for the sake of this expression. I come here often to take a look at what has been added or changed. The wall changes constantly. It's art that is accessible at any time, and it's not kept away in a museum or behind ropes in a gallery. It's art that is meant to be seen by anyone who wants to. I also like that this is group art. Not an expression of one person, but a, group, a fellowship of artists working together on individual elements for the sake of the final product. The end product, when viewed from a few feet away, represents the work of the entire group. So when I look at this wall, I think about the fellowship of the artists and what it must have looked like as they were working together to create the end result that we see now. I sit as a fan and admire the resulting image, but I also admire the teamwork that went into creating it. In the life of faith, we find ourselves in relationship with others in what we call the fellowship of believers. We are a fellowship, but we are united in the name and for the sake of Jesus Christ. In the book of Acts, we read that the early church devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to the communion, to breaking of bread, and to prayer. All of the believers were together and had everything in common, selling their possessions and goods they gave to anyone as he had need. We would be crazy to think that the people of the early church didn't have times of friction. It would be unrealistic to think that everything was all perfect and they just sat around playing their harps all day. They were human just as we are human. The imperfections that we possess today are the same that existed in humanity 2,000 years ago. The imperfection of humanity that required Jesus to die on the cross then are the same as they are today. We contain these imperfections, but we have a choice as to whether or not those imperfections in others are going to contain us. In this wall, I can walk up close and I can see things that I couldn't see from 10 feet away. I can see bumps and lines from previous paintings that are underneath the layers of paint. I can see where mistakes are covered by correcting strokes with a spray can. I can choose to continue to focus on these small spots I don't like, or I can back away from the wall and see the larger piece as a whole. This holds true in our fellowship efforts as well. When we come into relationship and grow closer to others, we will begin to see those things that we might not like about them, to be honest. We can choose to focus only on the shortcomings of those around us and allow those shortcomings to be the primary way that we view those people. We might see bumps, just like this wall, we might see bumps in the surface of their character and not realize that they have been caused by previous hurts in that person's life. We can choose to focus on those small things, but if we do, we need to accept that those that we are in relationship with just might choose to do the same with us. The secret here is like those bumper stickers on cars that say, if you can read this, you're too close. If we are close enough to others to see their imperfections, then we are close enough for them to see ours as well. Fellowship is both a noun and a verb in the English language. This means that you can be both in fellowship and be in the act of fellowship. Fellowship as a verb requires an intentional desire to be united with others in the name of Christ Jesus. Just like in marriage, this means for better or for worse. Much like this wall, the end result of true fellowship is visible. True fellowship is on display for those who observe it from the outside. Just like this wall reveals the expression of the artists who worked on it, Christian fellowship reveals the character of the whole and reflects the reason and influence behind the fellowship, which is Jesus Christ. That's something to think about and pray about, don't you think? I'm Chris, and thanks for joining me at the Free Wall.